In today's video, we will be going from level 0 to level 700 using a leveling guide provided by Brujify, and I will link his channel and video in the description, so go check him out as well. And also sorry I am saying this so early in the video, but this took 17 hours worth of recording to do so I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. And now let's get into the video. Level 1 to 10 wasn't really any special really, because I was just killing bandits, so there wasn't really anything interesting in this part. Level 10 to 55 was killing galley pirates at Fountain City and why was I killing them? It was apparently to skip jungle and skip most of the pirate island. This took quite long since I was weak, but I did gain quite a lot of levels by doing this. Level 55 to 75 is where the server hopping started and this was because bosses take a while to spawn so it is quicker to server hop and kill them instead of waiting. And also, I just used the wall method with Bobby since it is quicker and I don't have to go running back if I died all of the sudden. Level 75 to 105 was one part of the leveling guide I felt bored doing since it felt like forever and it really got to the point where I used an experience buff code for 20 minutes so yeah. Wasn't really much to say about this stage because of that but I was trying to group most of the officers up and killed them all at once using the buildings. Level 105 to 130 was more server hopping since I was killing the Yeti and this was way better than what I was doing before because killing desert officers sucks and desert is one of my most hated zones in C1. I also decided to get all the abilities from the trainer in the cave at Frozen Village because why not? Level 130 to 220 was quite a lot of work since people kept on killing Vice Admiral and this made the whole server hopping idea very boring because most servers had Vice Admiral dead, but I still went through with it. Hey at least the benefits from Vice Admiral is that it is the best for grinding cash in C1 and this got me Dark Step and then Water Kung Fu. But this wasn't the only benefits I got from this. Vice Admiral also drops his coat which I could really use because it looks cool and also gives you 200 energy and a 10% extra damage boost on your melee attacks. Yes guys, I didn't forget about the cape you can get in one of the towers. I don't know why I did this, but I tried to attempt to kill Greybeard the raid boss lol. I unlocked Brigade. Now, there is nothing really interesting for the rest of the server hopping, so let's move on to the next part. This is kinda like a bonus I put in of me obtaining Saber so enjoy. Also if you are wondering why I got a Kilo, this was recorded before the update and I found it at the Fruit Roller.
We are approaching the halfway point now with these three bosses called Warden, Chief Warden and Swan, and I am not kidding. Swan literally didn't spawn as often as the two Wardens did because the boss was always killed by off course some players leading to me not getting the cape. But I wasn't too worried about the cape since I didn't want to be spending half an hour trying to serve or hop for just a cool looking cape that has some benefits. I just wanted to level. I decided to use another experience buff for 20 minutes again, and also, the Warden Sword dropped. Nothing more really interesting other than doing the same thing over and over again except for this when I decided to make a crew which has. Only one person now that is basically a new player, but anyways let's move on to Magma Island. Level 350 to 425 was the time when I would eventually get Refined Musket which will be my first gun on this account in Blocks Fruits even though I won't be using it because guns are not the best in the game. I also started using Saber, but then I thought melee was better to get up first since it is stronger, I think and it would be better if I ended up getting Buddha Fruit. I eventually reached level 425 after a long time of server hopping for the Magma Admiral, and I think the Fishman Lord coming up is one of the hardest bosses in C1 if you are a melee player, because this guy has two forms when you attack him. What is the most annoying about the fight is that he heals to full health when he enters second form. I eventually got the trident. Level 425 to 625 took a long time, and I mean a long time longest time taken yet and I was literally so glad when this was over even though I got bazooka and pole one street form. There was lots and lots of server hopping, and this was just pure pain. Now being in the 625 to 700 level range, I was now determined to complete the mission after struggling and painfully leveling for so long. It was time to end my suffering and kill these damn galley pirates. Damn come on, come on, yes, 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 okay, okay, come on.
Mission complete finally. After so long we are level 700. This was such a long journey, but we did it. But wait, it is up to you guys to decide whether I continue or not and if you want me to continue, get this video up to 15 likes and I will do another video on this at some point. Oh, and one more thing, Blocks Fruit Ian 23 will return. Okay, but anyways, have a good day guys and make sure to subscribe.